So this is the UV LED, and uh, I just buy it especially for the queuing of the SLA resin. So let's see what inside. They got a pair of the potassium glass, and uh, I will show you why you need it because this one is very powerful. On the back, you can see there's uh, two fans, and uh, on the fan, there's an array of the LED. I don't know if you can see the uh, letter or not. It's from 101 to the 100. From 1 all the way to the 100. Because this one is the uh, 100 watt, uh, 100 watt LED, so I guess each LED board is uh, around one watt. So there's a 100 uh, LED here, so it's a 100 watt. It's very powerful, and. Uh, they also including some uh, cable chain. I think it's meant to be uh, you can hook on the hair and hang it up to shine it down. Uh, the, the video on their website uh, is uh, demonstrating they can use uh, this kind of LED, UV LED to uh, curing a uh, cell phone cell phone screen because the main thing, main customer for this kind of LED they selling to is uh, for the uh, smartphone repair guys when they're replacing the screen for you they need to uh, cure the UV guru underneath the screen glass uh, so they need to uh, query very fast because they don't want to let like, customer to waiting usually in China they are they can repair the cell phone for you they may be uh, well, around half an hour or, or 40 minutes something so they need to cure the guru as fast as possible to to make the circle work fast so they can earn more money so let's try to turn it on you can see I don't want to facing the Light to myself. It's, you can see it's very powerful and very light, so you need a potassium gas. Also, <coughs> the, there's uh, quite a lot of fan noise, noise because uh, it's quite a lot of heat generated from the fan of the uh, lights. So, the heat is also very good for the resin to, to cure. So, it's the accurate waiting for the SLA resin. If I turn it to the camera, you can see it's very powerful. So for the carrying station, I found this uh, bucket and uh, this water free inside thing. I think it's perfect for the carrying station. So I just put this lights on the top and. Uh, the resin part can be put here so it doesn't uh, touch in the bottom and uh, I will cover the bottom with this aluminium foil to make it a reflecting surface so the bottom can reflecting the lights upward
And this will do for the curing station. <coughs> so you can see it's uh, sunning down to the resin painting. And uh, I have tried it before to cure in the um, resin painting, so it's very fast. Around um, three to five minutes, the surface can be dry, and around fifteen and a half hours, the whole uh, resin can be totally dry, even in the inside. So it's uh, much faster than the, the normal. The LED strip you see from the other people doing because the LED strip is very low power. This one very very powerful. The only downside is the the fan noise, but uh, that's the trade off you need to do. And uh, I also think about to uh, make something to cover the side, so uh, leaking out from the side to shining on your eyes so uh, I will show you that later to cover the leaking lights I will use this uh, sound dampening foam to uh, cover this area but you don't want to cut out the ventilation hole so you need to only cover this uh, sweet the other side to make it a little bit more stronger you need to uh, cover it with tape Then this is now will now be easy to cut it off. Otherwise, if you only sticking like this, it will be easy to uh, knock it off. So here it go, it's uh, uh, no more lights to beating out. If I open it, you can see it's very powerful. The lighting, uh, the camera need to adjust the uh, exposure. When the resin is ready, you can just put the light aside, like this. Or maybe turn it over to uh, Shine it a little bit more time. But usually, it's, uh, if some kind of small pin, you don't need to turn it over, I find. Because uh, the light is so powerful, uh, it will be shining, cure the resin quite fast. If some kind of very thick 
big painting, you maybe uh, need to turn over to shiny on the other side for, for more curing. So I think this is a very simple and the most powerful curing solution for the SLA Russian painting. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.